amino acids since it does contain amino group as well as co2 that's why it does exist as a dipolar molecule what is dipolar molecule see it's very easy to understand we are talking about this let's say in one of the structures when they are near see alpha carbon can be near amino as well as co2 they are very near to each other because of that h plus from co2 group migrates to the nh2 group because this is an acid acid has a tendency to release h plus and base has a tendency to accept h plus because it has a, a, a non body long pair of electron so uh, obviously nitrogen has a non body long pair of electron it does accept it and that's why what you get co minus and nh3 plus amino acid does exist in this dipolar form it has carboxylic form carboxylic ion which is negatively charged and it has ammonium ion which is positively charged that's what they have written over here we know that amino acid contain both the acidic as well as basic group in dry solid form the amino acid exists as dipolar molecule in which carboxyl group is present as carboxylic ion and amino group is present as aminium ion in its process the dipolar this dipolar is also known as zwitter ions they may ask you what is zwitter this is what zwitter okay now this zwitter ion or dipolar ion if you put it in acidic solution as in solution that means you are putting a we are putting this zwitter ion to h plus solution in h plus it gets attracted towards the co minus and it makes co orange but at that time this nh3 plus remains as it is that means in acidic medium this zwitter ion which is which was dipolar becomes only positively charged and acidic medium it becomes positively charged ion. and if you in this positive ion if you add oh minus and then again that h plus which was absorbed over here wo combine hote minus h2 nikal jayega and again you get your dipolar ion back so that is the ion acidic medium same way that if you put zwitter ion in basic medium oh minus ke sath dalo so yahan se wo h plus ko le lega yahan se kya karega wo h plus aur h2 nikal jayega that means nh3 plus now becomes nh2 or co minus remains as it is that's why amino acid in alkaline solution behaves as negative ion and if you further as a negative ion ke andar if we add h plus so what is called dipolar form mein aata hai are you understand so in acidic solution dipolar ion of amino acid exists as a positive one ion while in alkaline solution it exists as a negative ऐसे उसका and if it if it is present as a negative ion it will move towards the positive ion okay if amino acid is dipolar ion then it remains in solution it will not migrate towards any anode of because dipolar ion is neutral as far as balancing the charge abhi jara jaan se last point in electric field 
सर्टेन ना एवरी अमीनो एसिड का आपको सर्टेन डिफरेंट पीएच मेंटेन करना पड़ेगा अगर नॉर्मल एसिड है अमीनो एसिड है देन पीएच सेवन पे वो कैसा था न्यूट्रल था एंड इट वाज नॉट एडिटेड टुवर्ड्स द एटीन पे बट डिफरेंट अमीनो एसिड्स रिक्वायर डिफरेंट पीएच पे In any field, the pH value at which amino acid does not migrate towards any electrode, that is called isoelectric point (PI) of amino acids. Under my discussion, explain isoelectric point. So, pure understand. I will explain. Literally, answer the question. Different amino acids have different isoelectric point. Most of the amino acids react with acid or base to form salt, so they are known as amphoteric compound. So acid with salt they react with that, base with salt they react with that, amphoteric. A mixture of amino acids can be separated by electrophoresis, which we have seen, okay, so, uh, surface chemistry, and different types of photographic techniques. Is it fine? 